I was born in China and lived in the city of Chongqing during World War II. My family moved to Hong Kong some years later and live in this condo on the second floor. This is my family in Hong Kong. Guess who I was in this picture? I was the tallest in the front row. All the clothes that you saw, that you see were wearing here, were donated by folks from America, except for my what my mother was wearing. And now all my clothes are all from China. After that, we moved to Singapore and lived in the idyllic conditions of Singapore at the time, because now it is a wonderful metropolitan area of Southeast Asia. We were blessed to be able to migrate, to immigrate to the United States when I was 14 years old. And we entered the United States from the city of San Francisco and passing under the Golden State Bridge. An unforgettable sight as I uh, stood on the decks of the ship that transported us from, Hong from Singapore to here. I attended high school and college here and was able to uh, go to the School of Dentistry at USC. Some years after I started my practice of dentistry, I attended law school in Los Angeles and graduated and passed the bar. I believe all this background was instrumental in helping me develop the pinhole surgical technique. I had the fascination for soft tissue regeneration and I studied different techniques and practiced just about most of them in my, in my practice. And I found that grafting uh, is a very technique sensitive method with wonderful results when you're successful. And however, it came with some symptoms postoperatively that was not particularly uh, favorable to the patients. I researched the entire field of tissue regeneration and I realized that there were a sparse, a dearth of literature and research on how to approach the problem from the vestibule, from the mucosal tissue uh, towards the uh, cervical area. And I found that using some prototypes of instruments, I was able to get some interesting long-term cases. This is a case that was 15 years old, from 01 to 16. Another case I did on Frank, and this case actually showed that we are able to regenerate keratinized tissue where there was none before. This is Cynthia over 13 years. This is Margarita who had a filling on the abutment at number 12. We were able to do pinhole on her and this bridge lasted at least 10 years and the last we saw Margarita was when she was 87 years old. In Gilbert's case is over eight years. In Walter's case, was a very traumatic case. It, it uh, lasted at least 10 years. In Linda's case, lasted nine years. 